I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the research that's been taking place in my lab. The number one project that we do here is finding cures for bacterial diseases. Specifically, we're looking for alternatives to antibiotics. One thing that's come to mind through history is the use of bacteriophages, which is a type of virus naturally found in the environment that can infect and destroy bacteria. So what we like to do is go out into the community, collect specimens, bring them back here, run genetic tests and microbial tests for the presence of the virus, and then we look to see if it has any medicinal value. So after we collect these samples, we bring them back to the lab and we run a test called polymerase chain reaction, which looks for genetic similarity between the viruses that we're looking for and what may be contained within the sample. So along with the genetic testing that we do on the sample, we also do something called microbial testing. Microbial testing is where we spread plates with both E. coli and staph bacteria. And then after the plates are spread with bacteria, I take a small amount of the sample collected and I put it on each of the plates to test to see if the phage contained in the sample will kill any of the bacteria. So let's recap our results from last year. For our microbial testing, we sampled 55 individuals and 13 were positive for E. coli phage and 21 were positive for staph phage. Here we see this zone of destruction where the bacteriophage is actually killing the bacteria that's surrounding it, which creates that little clear zone. We also wanted to understand the exact strain of virus, so we ran some genetic testing, and we were able to identify seven of the 13 E. coli samples that were positive, and we were able to identify 18 of the 21 staph samples that were positive. So the reason for all this is an alternative to antibiotics. Bacteriophages can adapt faster than the bacteria can, so they can always be there to lyse the bacteria. As we've seen in the common media today, there's a lot of bacteria that are out there that are antibiotic resistant. These types of phages would allow a potential drug to be used that can destroy the bacteria. And as the bacteria try to evolve to get around the phages, the phage can evolve to make sure to destroy the bacteria. A lot of companies are up and coming developing these new techniques. And we hope in the future that once we isolated more of these viruses, we might be able to work with some of the biotech companies in the surrounding region and exploit them for use. Yeah.